I'd just like to show you how clever your brains are. Just learn, you're gonna learn something about America that I found very interesting. So I was just looking at maps of America and uh, one of the maps I looked at was obesity trends amongst US adults. And anyone ever been to the southern states of America? Yeah, they eat a lot of deep fried stuff there. So not surprisingly, this area here is very, very heavy in obesity rates. Okay, uh, the pink state. Anyone guess what that is? It is color. Well done. It is Colorado. So very clearly, the healthiest state to live in. So let's all move to Colorado. Okay. So the southern states generally very obese. Yeah, California less so but Colorado that's the place to live if you want to be skinny next up I uh, also noticed that there seemed to be a linkage of the places that had more obesity with the places that had the worst weather isn't that interesting so tornadoes and storms tend to happen in the southern states very similar distribution to where people get obese isn't that interesting don't know whether it's significant or not but it's interesting And then uh, I looked at, uh, I don't know why, uh, non-employee abandoned mine fatalities. So this is people stumbling, <laughs> stumbling into a, a mine. Right? So although, you know, if you're a beast and you're going to have a lot of storms, you're probably going to live here, you're not going to fall down a mine. So it kind of works out in the end, doesn't it? Although Colorado is still looking quite good. That's not, that's not Colorado. Colorado is here. Uh, there's a few mines there, but California, oh, not surprising because of the gold rush and everything. A lot of, uh, so on balance, we got obesity, storms, but no falling down mines in the southern states of America. So then uh, I found this one, which is a brilliant, brilliant word, Relig religiosity, how religious a state is. Uh, look, here we have again. If you're, if you're in the southern states, you're more likely to have a lot of religion. Okay. Uh, not so much in Colorado, again, <laughs> they don't seem to have so much religion. Southern states, a lot of religion, a lot of storms, not so much falling down the mines, yeah, uh, and lots of, lots of church. Um, and then finally, uh, any, any guesses for this, what this might represent? This is the uh, density of breweries per state. So once again, we find uh, Colorado, lots of breweries, yeah. Southern states of America, not so many breweries, not so many mines to fall down, but more chance of obesity and storms. Yeah? So, uh, just turn to your partner and tell them what you remember about that wealth of information that came at you at very high speed about what's going on in random things in America. So I've got some questions for you. We presented you with a lot of random information there. But we present it in an interesting way and we present it in a kind of story way, which is one of the key ways you can communicate. And when you talk back to your friend, you kind of talk about it and you'll probably bring it up in conversations for the next week. You're going, do you know? So for instance, if I was say, to say to you, which was the pink state on that map? You would say, yeah. And which, which map was it we were talking about? What was the pink one? BCT, yeah, yeah. And uh, what, what are the benefits of living in the southern states of America based on the information we presented? You're not going to fall down the mine, get lots of religion, yeah? And uh, would we live in Colorado? Yeah, probably, probably would. So all that information, we can, we can process that very, very quickly. And if we asked you to kind of uh, regurgitate that in probably a month's time, you'd probably remember it because it's kind of interesting, isn't it? I wonder if there is any connection between the fact that it's stormy, they have a lot of churches, not enough beer, and no mines to fall down, and the fact they're obese. Maybe, maybe not, but it's interesting. But our brain is very good at kind of putting these little patterns together and making sense of stuff. And we use this a lot when we teach. We teach a wealth of information like we have done today, actually. But you remember it because it's just, fun I think it's fundamentally fascinating. Humans and how we work is just one of the most interesting things, which is why people watch soap operas. That's why they become immersed in that kind of stuff. Or why if somebody says, oh, you never guess what I heard today. You go, what, what is it? Tell me, tell me, I can't tell you now. Oh, can't wait till we get home. What's that going to be? And in our mind, we're creating what it's going to be. We love that. We love stories. It doesn't really matter whether they're good or bad. We just love stories.